Hello, watch lovers. What about the radioactive Rolex? Yes, you heard correctly. I'm talking about the radioactive Rolex watch. So without further ado, let's watch the video and learn more. What is radium? Before we begin, let's review the fundamentals of radium before discussing radio dials used in watches. Alkaline earth metals are a class of chemical elements that include radium, which was discovered on December 21, 1898, by Marie Curie and her husband Pierre. It is a very uncommon chemical that is found in trace levels in uranium ore and makes up only one part in a trillion of the Earth's crust. In fact, it is so rare that only one g of radium can be produced from seven tons of the ore. Additionally, it is a million times more radioactive than uranium itself, making it the most radioactive naturally occurring metal on Earth. For the next 1500 years, handling the nearly 100-year-old notebooks of Marie Curie will remain too risky. They are kept in lead line cases at the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris and are radium-226 contaminated. Radon gas, the direct offspring of radium, is also extremely radioactive. When consumed, 80% of the radium leaves the body through the feces, and the remaining 20% enters the bloodstream and primarily builds up in the bones. Internal or external exposure to radium can result in cancer and other diseases because radium and radon release alpha and gamma rays during their disintegration, which induce cell death and mutation. Radium girls. Have you heard that radium girls are the beginning of the radio dial story? About 4,000 workers, mostly young women, were employed by United States. Radium corporate between 1970 and 1926 in various dial painting factories all over America. The value of radium dials in both military and non-military settings became clear in the 1920s. Instruments in aircraft cockpits and illuminated numeral clocks and watches began to appear. After winning the contract to supply the military, United States. Radium quickly hired a large number of women to painstakingly color the intricate details by hand. They would later become known as the Radium Girls. The women were taught lip pointing, which involved licking the tip of their paintbrush after each application to sharpen it, to guarantee that their brushes were kept fine enough to coat the tiny numerals. With 12 digits each, they could finish 200 dials a day for just 1.5 cents each, ingesting a small amount of radium with each stroke. Now as a result of this, the negative effects slowly began to manifest on girls as cancer, and many of them died in the process. The full story of the Radium Girls and the Radium industry is also available online. Many of the girls considered it a wonderful bonus to be working with it because of how firmly the chemical was still being promoted to the general public for its health benefits. But a number of scientists were beginning to voice some of the concerns of prolonged exposure. However, the girls were never informed of the negative consequences, and some even started painting their teeth and nails with the paint. About Radium Dial Radium dials are the dials of watches, clocks, and other instruments that have had radium-226 added to luminous paint to produce radioluminescence. Radium dials were manufactured for the majority of the 20th century. In the 1970s, safer tritium-based luminous material took their place, and starting in the middle of the 1990s, non-toxic, non-radioactive strontium aluminate-based photoluminescent material took their place. Radium used in Rolex if there is any good to come out of the United States. Radium disaster. It can be found in the vastly improved working conditions for industrial safety standards in general, and not just dial painters. In order to reduce employee exposure to the dangerous material, further measures were put in place, and those working with radium lace paint were now expressly prohibited from lip pointing. A congressional bill allowing for compensation to be paid in the event of an occupationally acquired disease was also passed using the Radium Girls case as a model. In addition, the Radium Girls case served as a precedent for workers to be able to sue employers for labor violations. All watchmakers, including Rolex, continued to use radium as their preferred luminous material up to the early 1960s despite the implementation of new safety regulations. It was deemed safe for employees handling the substance to work there because factory conditions had significantly improved. Although radiation levels were still higher than considered to be totally safe, it was discovered that the glass dial cover and metal case back offered some kind of protection to the wearer. However, Rolex introduced the first GMT master reference, the reference 6542, 
in 1954. The now famous Aviator's Watch was first offered with a Bakelite bezel that had luminous numerals to make it easier to read in low light during the long haul overnight trip. Rolex used strontium-90, another radioactive isotope, to illuminate the numbers. It was still a clear danger even if its half-life was far shorter than that of radium. Was it safe? Old timepieces with radium dials may pose a real health risk to their owners, according to a five-year study conducted by research teams from the Universities of Northampton and Kingston with funding from UNESCO, the International Union of Geological Sciences, and the International Geoscience Program. Researchers tested 30 timepieces that were kept in a standard room and found that they collectively released levels of radon, a radioactive element that is the byproduct of radium decay, that were 134 times higher than the United Kingdom's recommended safe threshold. Even more radon was being observed in the watches that were being kept in poor condition. The observed values were still high enough across a considerably bigger area to cause alarm. These timepieces are frequently sentimental heirlooms, prized collector's treasures, or precious heirlooms. I would advise not wearing them. And if kept in a box, I would advise against taking the lid off indoors. It would be preferable to place the box outside and unscrew the lid there so that any gas may quickly escape. The tested watches are a mixture of British, Swiss, and American origin and were made between the 1920s and the 1960s. Recall, legitation issue. After analyzing the bezels and discovering dangerously high amounts of radioactivity, the Atomic Energy Commission asked that Rolex recall all 605 GMT master watches that had been imported into the United States in 1959. The corporation paid for the retrofit of an aluminium substitute when the brand promptly complied. But in one case, the harm had already been done. Willard Morton Mound, a 38-year-old naval lieutenant commander who bought his reference, 6542 in Hong Kong, filed a lawsuit against Rolex USA for $5.6 million. The action, which was brought in 1961, alleged that radiation from the watch had given rise to skin sores and damaged the officer's eyesight. Additionally, he was asserting rights on behalf of his wife and five kids. Although the lawsuit's conclusion is unknown, it is intriguing to hear that Mound's GMT, which had been in the custody of his son since 1960 and had been preserved in a lead box, reappeared in 2015. However, the recall and the lawsuit permanently ended Rolex's association with radium. The company switched to tritium in 1962, which emitted a very low beta radiation too weak to penetrate the skin. That is all for today, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel and leave your comments on the radioactive Rolex.